Apple just quietly unveiled two new products on their website. They also just completed filming for five original TV shows. This and more. The first iPad that we're gonna be talking about is the brand new iPad Air, which is Apple's attempt to bring their high-end technologies to the masses. And the reason we say to the masses is because the technology that's in it, specifically speaking the processor, it's their A12 Bionic chip, which is super, super fast and very powerful. Yes, it's the same one that's in the new iPhone XS and XS Maxes. Now, it is not the A12X Bionic chip, which is in the iPad Pro, but it's still very fast. Yeah, very powerful. And it compares to Qualcomm's new, new processor. Same with Samsung's new processor mm -hmm. as well. It's actually faster than the Snapdragon 855. Mm. Next up, it has a new 10.5 inch retina display with True Tone enabled. It is about a pound in weight and has a thickness of 6.1 millimeters. Similar size to, similar thickness, I'm sorry, to, to previous iPad models. One of the big updates to the new iPad Air is the support for the Apple Pencil as well as a smart keyboard. One thing to note though, it is just the first generation Apple Pencil, not the second generation. Yes, it is not the second generation. That is only supported by the Apple iPad. Had Pro. And you can pick up this Apple Pencil separately at $99 on their website. Another feature that it has is the inclusion of a smart keyboard, which also is separately and it's going to be about $150, $160 on Apple.com as well. That's expensive. Yes, it's very, very expensive. Another two key features is one, the 8 megapixel rear camera and the 7 megapixel selfie camera. These are highly improved over the last generation. This front facing camera, that is a big step up from what we've seen on previous models. Previously, it's been like a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, mm -hmm. which I don't know, FaceTime isn't that good, but a seven megapixel camera on the front, that is gonna be incredible for, for FaceTime calls, for video calls, for selfies, all that yes. stuff. Another big thing about the iPad Air is that it starts at 499 USD. That is for the Wi-Fi only and 64 gigabytes of storage. Now we're talking about colors. So there's comes in three colors. They have gold, silver, and space gray. Which one do you think you would get? Gold. Gold? No, space gray. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say space gray. Nah, silver. Anyways, moving on to the next product that Apple just quietly unveiled, the iPad mini 5, fifth generation. We've seen a lot of the same specs what, as what we see on the iPad Air. Yes. There's a few differences, one being the size of the screen. Obviously, because mm -hmm. it's a mini, it's gonna be small. Really? It's, <laughs> it's 7.9 inches in display. It is also Retina and also True Tone, which mm -hmm. is nice. Same cameras, same processor. This processor, or this, this mini, it's a powerful device. Very powerful. A12 Bionic chip and such a small device that you can run programs such as like Adobe Photoshop on it. That's mm -hmm. incredible. The iPad Air and the iPad mini fifth generation all have 10 hours of battery life. They didn't say on their website how big their, their battery is, but obviously they have a caveat that says typical use matters and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. they say on optimal conditions, it'll last for 10 hours. Talking about colors now, it is the same colors as the iPad Air, gold, silver, and space gray. Nathan, which one would you get? <laughs> space gray for me. I was about to say that. Another thing that this supports is Apple Pencil, but so, again, first generation. Mm -hmm. The iPad mini fifth generation starts at 399, so it's a bit cheaper than the iPad Air, mm -hmm. about $100 less, which is the same as the iPhone XS compared to the iPhone XS Max. You can either get 64 gigs or you can get 256 gigs. Can you get cellular? You can't. Ooh. And it starts at 529, so about $130 increase if you want that cellular option. So Nathan, between the two new iPads, which one would you get? If I were to buy an iPad, no, I don't have an iPad, but if I were to buy Just one- Just pick one. Probably the mini. Interesting. Why? I feel it's easier to transport around with it. Mm -hmm. Fits easier in your hand. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be using two hands. How about you? Probably the iPad mini. Seems like a good fit. And, same power. Yeah, and a lot of the same specs in mm -hmm. both of them. So why not get the cheaper model if you can handle the smaller screen size? Mm. Another thing to note, it's only an inch and a half larger than the iPhone XS Max. Interesting. So one thing that they did, these iPads did retain is the large bezels around mm. the perimeter. It still has a forehead, still has a chin, still has a fingerprint reader. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty nice. And headphone jack, which I like. Next up, we're gonna be talking about Apple's new streaming service, which will be announced March 25th this month Ex in the 10 days. Expected to be announced. It's gonna be announced, it's showtime. So one of the huge leaks that have just come out is that Apple has already finished filming five of their brand new shows, and there's 11 on the way for the release. So if they just finished filming, that means mm -hmm. they still have to edit it. So probably gonna take a while for them to 
finish editing, you don't know. you think? They might be they might be time crunching, you know, like your projects do, you just cram all night. But it's pretty exciting. Apple's coming out with their own streaming service, 11 new shows, alongside of other partnerships that they have. Mm -hmm. Some of the shows include Are You Sleeping, mm -hmm. Dickinson, and yep. For All Mankind. And they have a lot of big name actors in these as well. Yep, they have Octave Spencer. They have Haley Steinfield. They've also retained contracts with Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston, also film directors such as Steven Spielberg and J.J. Abrams. Now, another thing that's pretty interesting about this streaming service is that Apple has been pretty tight-lipped about it. Normally, there's a bunch of leaks on Apple's newest products, like we already knew about the new iPad that just came out, mm -hmm. but we don't know anything about the streaming service. Yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that because the leaked video that we talked about, the iPad Mini 5, mm -hmm. where we talked about the rumors associated with it, a lot of the information we were correct on. Yeah, we knew all of it. And I think the reason for that is because these are physical products and manufacturing companies in China and stuff, they can somehow get little information out to kind of hint at what it's gonna look like. But with streaming devices or streaming services, there isn't any physical, tangible evidence that you can really leak, right? It's all in Apple. Yeah, exactly. So there isn't stuff that they can leak. Well, it's gonna be pretty exciting. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, you know what to do. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to look into anything. And subscribe if you're new.